So today I want to show you the easiest way and the most delicious way I find to make homemade tomato sauce or gravy. There's that big debate. Is it gravy? Is it sauce? I call it sauce. You can call it whatever you like. So I start with one large onion and about three cloves of garlic and I hand chop them because that's just the way I prefer to do it. I don't like all my pieces to be the exact same size. I think one of the great things about having a homemade tomato sauce is having different size onions and different bits of garlic. And again, that's up to you. You can chop them however you like. And then I take about a quarter cup of olive oil. I like extra virgin. And I just start to brown and saute it in a medium sized quart pan. And that is the beginning. Leave it on for about, I'd say 10 to 15 minutes. Don't put it on too high a flame because you don't want them burnt. You want them brown. So once you see them nice and golden brown, I'll show you the next step. Next, you're going to add your canned tomato sauce. I use one can of crushed tomato, two can of tomato sauce, and two cans of tomato paste because I like my sauce on the thick side. Oh, and don't forget to add salt and pepper when you're sauteing your onions and garlic. And of course, I have some fresh basil here that I grew myself. And there's my beautiful, wonderful click and grow. And I'm growing all sorts of wonderful things, tomatoes. I'll link the video so you can see how you can do this too. Okay, so I have the items ready to go and I also like to add some Italian seasoning, some onion salt, some garlic powder, just a little bit extra and of course some salt and pepper. So of course you want to remove the pan from the flame because you don't want to add tomato sauce to steaming hot oil. You want to let it cool down for a minute or two. Once it's cooled down then you can add your crushed tomatoes, your tomato sauce, and your um, tomato paste and your seasonings. Okay, so I added the crushed tomato and the two cans of tomato sauce and I'm just giving it a good stir so I can incorporate the oil and the garlic and onions in. And at this point, I will add some more salt and pepper and I will also add about two tablespoons of sugar. Now you can use any type of sugar you like. You can use turbinado sugar, you can use white sugar, any kind of sugar that you like. Once it's incorporated in, you wanna make sure it's on a medium flame at this point. And now I will add my tomato paste. Okay, so once you put the tomato paste in, You'll want to give it a good stir. I like to add one can at a time because it is thick. So you want to make sure that you blend it in really well. And again, this is all on a medium flame. And now once I'm done stirring and making sure that everything is blended in, I will add my spices, my fresh basil, and I'm also going to add a half a cup or maybe, yeah, a little less than a half a cup of white wine. Now, some people like red wine, but I personally like white. Again, the choice is yours, but to me, it really tops it off nice and it adds a really unique flavor to the sauce. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Now, a lot of people are always concerned about how much spice they should use. I always say season to taste. Now, some people like pepper, some people don't. And again, you'll want to use your own judgment in terms of how much you add, if your family likes spicy sauce, not hot, but with a kick of spice, of course, then you'll be a little heavy handed. Of course, you can add some red pepper flakes in here too, which I'm not going to do today because I just don't feel like it. And again, it's done a lot on intuition, just how I feel like making my sauce that day, how it's going to turn out. So I added my spices, my blend of Italian seasoning, some extra onion salt, and of course some more salt and pepper. And I'm going to be adding my sugar in last. Now you don't want to overload it with your sugar. Like I said, about two tablespoons should work out very nicely to help cut the acidic flavor down. I don't like my sauce too acidic, and that's why I like to counteract that acidity with a little bit of sugar. So I'm going to add some sugar right now. Now I just added some turbinado sugar, some raw sugar. 
uh, sugar in the raw, I guess it's called. And I just prefer that. I think it's a lot healthier um, selection. But again, you can use whatever type of sugar you like. Now, once everything is incorporated, it's still on a medium heat. Just give it a good stir. Make sure that everything is blended in perfectly together. And then at this point, I'm going to add my fresh basil. And what I like to do is just leave that sitting there and let it marinate the flavor into the sauce. And I will leave that until the sauce is done. And then, of course, you want to take the basil leaves out. At this point, I will cover it and I will put it on a low flame. So make sure you do that and put a cover on it and let it cook for about... I'd say a good 40 minutes. I like to cook mine for as long as I can. You want to come and stir it frequently. I've left my sauce cooking for up to an hour at times and even longer. Now, the beauty is once you're at this point, you can add your, well, I would say let it cook for at least a half hour more. And then you can add meatballs, sausage, whatever meat you like to add. Or if you're a vegetarian, you can just stop here and enjoy the sauce over a delicious pasta, any pasta that you like. So as you can see, it's starting to bubble up now. I'm going to cover it and I will show you the end result. One quick note, um, while this is cooking, I just wanted to mention some people love big, huge, chunky bits of tomato in their sauce. And I don't. I have made it with plum tomato where I've taken whole plum tomatoes and like minced them up and I like it, but this is my preferred way. So if you're the type of person that enjoys big, huge chunks or medium sized chunks of tomato, then go get a can of plum tomatoes and you can just chop them up and add them to the sauce. Now I like the crushed tomato because this is the consistency that I prefer. I don't like to have big chunks or even medium-sized chunks of tomato in my sauce. I want to be able to have the sauce sink into the pasta and really get in there without having those chunks in the way. Um, I want to be able to enjoy both the pasta and the sauce together. And that's just, again, my preference. So just a side note, if you prefer chunky tomato sauce, then get some whole, a can of whole plum tomatoes and you can just drain them, chop them up and add them to the mixture. While your sauce is cooking, of course, you'll want to put your pot of water on for your pasta. And I usually do that about halfway through. And today I'm going to make mini ravioli. These raviolis are absolutely delicious. There are mini rounds. And you can get a bag for like a dollar to a dollar fifty. So you can feed a family of four with those easily and have it cost next to nothing. So that's going to be my meal today. So don't forget, get your pasta water ready to go while your sauce is covered and cooking. And don't worry about the mess. You can clean all that up later. One of the awesome things about making a pot of sauce that big um, I, I've made it even larger in the past, is that just get some Tupperwares and freeze the leftovers. So if it's just cooking for one or two, you'll have plenty of leftovers. Um, it'll fill definitely three or four of these containers. Pop them in the freezer and you can have sauce ready to go. When it's time for you to use it, I just put it in the microwave and let it defrost in there. Okay, so my sauce has been cooking for about a half hour. It's nice and bubbly and steaming, and I'm going to let it cook for another half hour, and then it should be all delicious and ready to go. The reason why I like this recipe is because it's easy. It only took about 15, 20 minutes to prepare, and it takes about an hour to cook, and so easy to do and absolutely delicious. I hope you get to try it and enjoy it too. And please don't forget to subscribe to sassytownhouseliving.com. I'd greatly appreciate it if you do. And you can thumbs up this video and click the notification bell for notification anytime we upload new content. Thanks so much for watching and have a great, safe, and delicious day.